Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today we are going to see how to reprogram Ford vehicle, uh, a Monday in my case, keep it with the 2 liters TDC 150 engine. I have only tried this modification on uh, Ford Mondeo last version. Uh, I keep it with the Duratorc engine. Firstly, little legal reminder, I can't be responsible in case of technical or legal problem following this modification. Modifications to the calculator are prohibited and your insurer may refuse to cover you in the event of an accident, for example. Also, Ford may cancel your vehicle warranty. So now I will list everything that you will need to upgrade your Ford 2 liter engine. Firstly, you need to use a software named Forscan. First of all, I prefer to make it clear I have no connections with the companies that develop Forscan. It's only a tool that allows you to make modifications to the UCU for Ford vehicles and other brands, I think, I, I don't know. You can download Forscan for free following the link in the description. Uh, you need to pay a premium subscription to use it and make modifications on the UCU. I don't remember, but I think it's around ten dollars for a year subscription. So it's less expensive than a traditional reprogramming. After you will need to use uh, an uh, Helm ELM three hundred twenty seven connector. I prefer USB applications because it's easier to configure it on the computer, but uh, uh, Bluetooth connections work also, and Wi-Fi, I don't know, but I think it will be good. Um, that's all for the hardware. Before going to the car, uh, I will explain you why it is so simple to make this upgrade. In the Ford range, there are three power ratings available for the two liters diesel engine. First, 150. Second power engine, uh, power rating, sorry, it's 180. And 210. For the, po the two first power ratings, so 150 and 180, this is the same engine, really the same. No hardware modifications on the engine, only electronic modifications. So we can easily, with Forscan, modify the power ratings uh, data on the UCU. First, connect the ODV2 connector in the car. It is necessary to connect your ODV2 box to the Bluetooth your computer in case of Bluetooth adapter. So it's okay. Let's go. No, how on first can I can load the connections? The software identifies your vehicle. Press OK. Then you have to wait for whole modules to load and for the software to proceed with the analysis. Nice. Everything is okay. So now we need to go in the configurations and programming. We will modify the PCM module uh, configuration. So press play. If you want, you can save the logs.
now we have the engine information you can click double click on this parameter to modify it a new window appears i am in the power rating tree so i'm yet on 180 because uh, the standard parameter for 150 it's power rating 2 so i'm okay press uh, validate for you click on write to write parameter in the PCB. A new box will appear. So you will need to put uh, OK. Uh, I don't remember. It's, it's OK. Uh, and uh, after all the procedure, uh, you will need to restart the car, uh, I think. And it's OK. Now you have uh, a new power ratings and more torque. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.